Hello, lovely Leos. How are you doing? How is the summer treating you? We are about to be in your sign, the sun in your sign. So we're just about to enter Leo season. Are you feeling yourself like beginning to like glow, beginning to like feel um, more of yourself, beginning to feel like um, you're getting stronger in who you are? Because I know that at like if we get into, you know, say Aquarius season, which is your opposite, it can be like really heavy for Leos. It can be really hard because you're the farthest away from the sun in your sign and you being the sun. I bet it really affects you um, in that direction. So in the same regard, I would imagine that you are beginning to feel just like, woo, woo, woo. Like, what is that when Mario eats the, eats the mushroom? Um, so, so yeah, it's, um, it's really exciting to also consider that Venus is about to go into your sign or is in your sign, uh, depending on which day you get this, I'm not sure. But um, but yes, with with Venus going in your sign, and I had said last week that um, that Venus is is essentially ruling the skies these days. I mean, yeah, we had that Uranus uh, Mars conjunction. We had uh, we have some other activities going on that are pretty strong, but it's like all the big planets are taking cues from Venus. Okay. And Venus being the goddess of love, beauty, harmony. She works really well with your sign, right? Um, and she is also the ruler of like romance and um and and money. So I thought it would be really fun with her being so active to uh do a video this week, uh do a reading this week for um each sign in regards to love and money now i'm not sure again this is going to be a general reading i'm just asking the cards like for leos with the current energy what does um what can they expect or what's going on what do they need to know there we go what do they need to know um in regards to love and money okay and, and i want to just kind of do this out for about 30 days or so okay so this is kind of like a 30-day read on love and money for you for you uh and who doesn't want more love and more money in their life like i mean maybe you're all set on both freeness but um you know just because you have it doesn't mean you don't still want it right so i think that this is applicable to everybody and i hope that you enjoy the reading as much as i'm excited about doing them for you uh so without me continuing on here let's go ahead and uh refer to the card and uh, find out what the current energy is what spirit has to say to you through the tarot in regards to love and money for about the next 30 days. Okay, so I will be beginning with the gold foil tarot. I don't know if that's a coincidence if that just popped up, but I'm going to go ahead and take it. I feel like we should take it. Okay, so we have clarity. We have absolute clarity. Uh, no surprise if we're, if we're going into your season. And coming out of cancer, cancer is so heart-centered that I bet that that was really revitalizing and supportive of, of you coming back into your heart and feeling um, like yourself again. Um, completely and fully. So this queen of of uh, swords, swords is thoughts. It is perceptions. It is the way that you, um, you know, way, the way that your mind is working. And when we have um, queen here, she's absolute and complete clarity um, after experiences. So she is experienced. She's been through trials. She's had life experiences. And through the, her life experience, she has been able to come to new conclusions and understandings of what is important for her future because if you if you you know notice she's we see a side view of her she is beckoning you to to take what you know and to come into the future with this clarity okay so that's why her hand is extended is kind of like with this welcoming um you know it's the left side which is the receiving side she's receiving um you she's asking you to come forward in perfect clarity and welcome your future or bless essentially bless your future with the things that you know uh so and see that see that with eyes wide open all right so here we have now the um eight of cups eight of cups is where you're potentially walking away from something that had at one time been satisfactory but you're looking towards um a something else that is going to exp it's going to be expansion of for you it's going to it's like we can never stay in one place forever. We've got to continue growing. We've got to continue pursuing um, happiness and um, satisfaction in our life. And that's what this card shows. Now, I love that this queen over here is, in fact, 
pointed towards the same direction that this eight of cups is going. You are headed somewhere. You are headed to into some sort of discovery that is supportive of your passions, your happiness, and your future. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's keep going here. See what else. All right. And the queen of cups. I love this. So when we have the queen of cups, um, we're talking about understanding what your heart wants. And this is also very strong creative energy. Okay. So creating from your heart. And again, this is knowledge. You know what it is that your heart wants and you're following that. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get some clarifiers here uh, for you on each of these so we can go just a little bit deeper. All right. Because again, we're asking for Leo uh, for about the next 30 days. Uh, what can they expect in, the tr in terms of love and money? Okay. All right, so here we have the five, and I apologize for that glare there. Maybe we do need to move the just a little bit. Okay, so we have here the five of cups. Now, the five of cups is, is that if this, what you're walking away from, it may actually, you know, it may have a, a sense of regret or it may be a little bit painful because you're looking back. But if you, if you look closely, the, you know, what coming out of these cups, this green goo wasn't necessarily the best. So while it may have been good for you or you thought it was good for you for a, a period of time, what you were involved in, where your emotional, um, uh, where you were placing your emotional satisfaction um, in a certain area of your life, now you're walking away from that and, it, and you may regret it. it. It may feel painful. I don't know that you're going to regret it, but this is, this, is a, this is the Lord of disappointment. So let, I guess I don't want to say too much more on that. I just kind of want to define what that part is means or it feels like it means at this point but let's let's keep going let's keep going before we um hmm. milestone potentially marriage but this is definitely a milestone okay all right so this queen of swords remember i told you she'd been through it she'd been through it and she understood what she needed to know and so and this could be like, yeah, this this could be saying like, I'm walking away from something, although it may be painful to walk away from it. I'm headed to this bright new future. I'm headed toward a significant achievement in my life. And now here we have this, what you're headed towards is financial peace. Peace in your in your life, peace, financial, financial abundance. This means that, that you have um, reaped the rewards from all of the intentions that you have placed that you're intending to seek out essentially the, yeah, it does. It feels like you're being well rewarded for all of the work that you have put into something. And that's what you're, that's what you're seeking here. Okay. You're seeking like, where is that, where is that sense of harmony? So if we take a look here, this is Venus all over this part. Okay. All over her gown. And, um, and she's, she's uh, love. She's in love with life. She, is at peace within herself. Her garden is growing. Her material life is flourishing and her finances are flourishing also. So that's interesting to see that that's what you're in pursuit of here. Aha, uh -huh. and ending something, ending something. Now also the world, and I feel kind of strong about this, the world can be like you're ending something within your physical, in physical life the end of a cycle, the end of a long journey. Again, this is also the end of a journey, right? A massive milestone being achieved. But this also can can be like you going out into the world. This can be like you uh, maybe putting your, your work out into the world or maybe you're exploring new options with different people. Um, this is definitely like a stronger presence, global presence. Okay, and now we have information here about so this fresh new information on a subject that you're already familiar with, because remember, I said that you know what your heart wants. It's not new news to you. Okay, this isn't an ace. It's not something like, whoa, that I didn't see that before. This is something that you have seen. You're just getting a broader view of it. You see how this, this um, page has brought themselves to a high point here um, and to be able to get a, a good vantage point, a good look around, and to be able to, um, to understand and know more about 
their life, this is what's surrounding them, okay? And it's also information coming in, being able to receive information in what? In terms of the King of Cups. You've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. This is all about, this can absolutely, absolutely mean two people coming together. Two people coming. Are you having to walk away from something that, hmm, that was heavy in order to pursue this love relationship? It's also creativity. It's love and it's creativity, okay? Love and creativity. I'm, we, we definitely got to keep going here. Let's keep going. I'm going to pull out now the, um, the Tarot of the Sacred Kingdoms, okay? Now, all of the, um, all of the cards that I use are going to be, the link for them is going to be in the description box, okay? Now, if you have not already, a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I would love for you to do that so that we can continue on this journey together so you can support my channel and I can continue bringing all this amazing information to you. Um that I enjoy doing so much. Uh, and I hope that you find it beneficial as well. Okay, so we have, so now I'm getting this justice card, contract, karma, end of a cycle. Like, okay, what you're getting, what you put out, you're getting back. This is what you put in back. Back, we have the hermit. Okay. Mercury is also going into your sign. So this would be, this is a Venus rule sign, Mercury rules card, okay. This is very much in information, wisdom. So tell me more about that justice. I want to know more about the justice. Five of swords, you have to go out on your own. You have to walk away from something. This is this is talking about you walking away from something in pursuit of something more satisfactory, bringing more fulfillment to your life. This five of swords is where you separate yourself from other people in order to un come to a clear understanding right a, a new information and this information you're going to get from inside your own heart you're being driven towards something and you know what this is you know what it is so you're separating yourself and you're assessing the situation and understanding like what your perception is what others perception may be of the situation what they would want you to do what you're feeling like you need to do what you're seeing clearly that you know that you need to do this is clarity and knowledge what you know you need to do again we have swords thoughts right it's his thoughts. Okay, what you know you need to do. Now, this justice, again, this can be around a, a marriage. This can be marriage, marriage, okay? So are you having to walk away from a partner? Are you having to walk away from somebody that you thought you were going to have a relationship with? Or are you walking away from someone or something in order to pursue this relationship, which is really more of what it feels like. You're in pursuit of greater happiness here. All right, and it's being driven from this internal wisdom within, within yourself. Okay, so we've got again the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. So I mean, no, make no mistake, you are headed. Sorry, and that's down there pretty far. But name, make no mistake, you are headed towards um, a bright new future, and um, and you understand there's a there's a deep understanding with the Justice card of like what I put out, I put in. I know I already said that, but. Let's really feel into that for a moment. I know that there are karmic cycles coming to an end. Everybody's getting what they, uh, what they deserve. Okay, and not in a in, not in a mean or or um, even egoic way. This is like I know that if I do this, I'm going to get that back. Think about okay when you're in the justice system, like if you, when you go in front of a judge, right? And the judge says, okay, this took place. Therefore, now this is going to be. The consequence. Consequences are good. Consequences are bad. They're not one or the other. Now, obviously, if you're in court, it may not be great. But, 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 uh, what if you're in court and the justice is coming in your in your favor? That's a good play. That, that's a you know a good consequence. So, um, so it's not ever good or bad. It's just a result of something. All right. And so maybe this is where you're looking at where you had placed your your emotional well being was not somewhere, something that was going to take you long-term where you wanted to be. So you're having to pull away from that, all right? And you're, you're doing this with, with a great deal of wisdom. 
great deal of wisdom. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords here reiterating the fact because this is just a lower octave. These two, these two cards are a lower octave of this justice. So again, we're talking about you having a strong knowledge of where you need to go in order for your future. So what does this look like? What does it mean? What is it? What is all of this? Uh, this going out into the world, pursuing your financial well-being, uh, peace and harmony and happiness in your life. What does that look like? And we got some clarifiers for the Nine of Pentacles. We have Three of Cups. This is joining people that um, are like-minded. That something that you're passionate about, like celebrating life and your passions, enjoying the time that you're spending with those that you love being around and passion driven. This is your solar plexus. This is you. This is literally you. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's Sagittarius because it's nights. And so there's mutable, but even still, it's a fire sign. And so you're, this is the sun, right? The solar, solar plexus, solar, sun. Okay. So this is you being driven by your passions that's connected with people that you absolutely love, okay? Now, also here, the sun, now that 100% is you, this is where you shine, you glow, you have that childlike curiosity. You're willing to go out into the world and shine bright. See, that's what I was getting. It wasn't so much the end of a cycle that I was getting from this card. I was getting where you're going out into the world. There's something bigger. There's something greater, something much more pleasurable for you on the other side of this. And now we have here the two of pentacles. So how are you going to manage this? It's like learning how to manage, okay? Um, it, it, two of pentacles can often be like uh, things out of balance, but I like to look at it as like, I mean, especially with this, the, the art from this, um, this deck, we're literally looking at like really being able to wield the power that I have. Really like coming into this much more powerful sense of self and being able to wield that in a way that is karmically balanced for me. Okay. In a way that brings forward all of this sense of well-being and peace and harmony. All right. So what is this outcome here that we're looking at? What is this information? I guess let's let's find out. Let's let's dive into what this this piece of information is here with the Queen of um, Cups and the King of Cups. That definitely can say love all over it, right? I'm holding these upside down. I definitely don't want a reverse card um, inorganically. Okay, so, all right, emperor. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Responsibility for your entire life. Okay, those who you, and judgment. Oh, I love, holy, what? Oh my God, I just can't, I'm just going to keep pulling cards here until, oh my God, Leos. Well, I told you, yeah, that I was expecting you to feel yourself and then you've got like 100% like you in your full power, right? And wielding that full power here. And now we have self-mastery, like you've leveled up significantly. You will be leveling up significantly over the next 30 days. And what we're talking about here is leveling up in terms of Love, okay, this is emotional, king, queen of emotions, right? In terms of love, this piece of information is going to empower you, emperor, right? Again, fire energy. It's absolute empowerment to what? To grab a hold of life, the life that is 100% fulfilling to you. This is, a, this is judgment. If you take a look at this judgment, this is where you are risen up to be um, aligned with your purpose, okay? Aligned with it, it's like, it's like, oh, my entire life was preparing me for this purpose. This is what my soul wants to do. There we have it. This is what my soul wants for me. And you are aligned with that in a very responsible way. And I want to say responsible for yourself. You're being completely responsible to your creations, to yourself. And to those who you feel like you are, that you um, are connected to. Because we do have the three of cups, three of cups here. Who are you connected to? People that you absolutely adore. Your, um, this could be family. This can be friends. Who is that group of people that you feel absolutely connected to and aligned with and a sense of, um, I, 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 I want to steer away from like protectedness because the Leos can be very protective, absolutely 100% protective of the people that are 
um, in their circle. But I think that it's more about, less about protecting others and more aligned with the appropriateness to thrive together. It's like, it's not, okay, okay, all right. If you remember a few few weeks ago, there was this message that had been coming through about how Leos needed to like stop taking care of everybody else and they needed to to tune into themselves in order to find that peace and harmony within what they what they desire. Um, you needed to refocus that energy to you because Leos can take on a lot for everyone else and feel like they're the ones that have to keep all the plates spinning. They're the ones that like it doesn't happen if they don't make sure it happens, right? Um, and so you take on a lot of responsibility for yourself. But in in another way here, I'm seeing that you you have sort of like allow that to subside and begin to use that energy for yourself and for what you want your life to look like and for you pursuing your own dreams your own happiness it looks like really you're you're being able to choose yourself and in that it enhances relationships okay because this emperor is not saying to me that you are in control of everything and everyone around you which it can be this the emperor definitely can can kind of get you know sway that direction but but that's not what i'm feeling for this i'm feeling this emperor is in in tune with himself and being responsible in his alignment with those connections to other people so they get to have their essentially their like they pursue their life you pursue your life this is this like sense of interdependence where you don't feel as though you have to pick up the slack for somebody else. They're strong, you're strong, and you get to be responsible and thrive together, okay? And now we have the Eight of Wands here. This Eight of Wands talks about absolute conviction, absolute courage, courageous conviction. This is strong, this is stable, this is firm, this is going for it. Obviously, it's Wands taking action, taking action, in pursuit of your fulfillment, okay, what your soul wants. I want to get some more information on that judgment, that emperor, and that eight of Go a little bit deeper here. Seven of Wands. Nobody's messing with you, are they, Leo? <laughs> Look at that. You're a ninja. You're a ninja warrior and this ferocious spirit animal that you've got inside of you. Like you do you got you got the um the knight of wands, you've got the seven of wands, and you with absolute conviction, you are pursuing what your soul desires. Okay. And it's it's beautiful it's working out well with other people around you, with the others around you without you having to like take everything on yourself. Now we have the Knight of Swords, which is where you take action on this information. This information is coming in in regards to, in regards to how to move forward with your purpose work, what you are aligned with, your soul's aligned with. Okay, we have the Strength card again. This you. Okay, so pursuing your interests, pursuit of your interests. I see it working really well within a partner. This message has been kind of coming in for quite some time about you like uh, like connecting with another person either it's a business relationship it's a, a um like a business within a part um a, a business venture within a love relationship it's definitely a heart centered connection that you're enjoying and you're but it's and I and I I remember now that that I was saying well I was reading right I was reading the cards the message for you was but like, take this opportunity to work with somebody that you care about, this offer that's coming through from them, because you will find yourself in that opportunity. And this is now the culmination of that. And it's, it's very prosperous for you. Loving prosperity and financial prosperity. Okay. It's working out really well for you. It does. It feels like you have bound yourself in this opportunity that you have taken hold of. Okay. And it's much more aligned than maybe you had expected. All right. So, um, yeah, this is this um, like my uh, this is expansion. This is where your life, like the world that you have built for yourself. Now you're going out and it's it's growing. 
it's expanding. Okay. And here, what, what is this? Why do we have this? Oh, why? Because all of the, all of, okay. I love the, I love, no, no, not everybody does, but I love the four of cups. Now the four of cups can totally get a bad rep because a person has their, their heart crossed off, right? Spirit's trying to hand you something and you're crossing your heart off. That's not the way that I have come to have a relationship with this card, the meaning of this card. The way that I interpret this is that you had been, you had been seeing these options and what you had thought was satisfactory in your life. Okay. And you're not, it's like, I'm not putting up with it anymore. Like I'm really going to take a look at what I put up with. I'm going to take a look at what, um, where my attention and my emotional well-being has gone. And I'm not going to be engaging anymore in what's not working for it. It's very stubborn. Maybe this is what this is. This is a very stubborn card. Like I'm not putting up with Jack s anymore i'm not i'm not putting up with it anymore and here this these cups now kick over right it's the same three cups this is the four of cups this is five of cups this is the same three cups now there there is something better for you there's definitely something better for you and what is better for you has is being offered through divine spirit through divine timing through divine alignment okay so this does say you gotta you gotta notice you know, you got to take a look here, but, but you are, you are taking a look. You're taking a look here. You're, you're going, okay, but this is costing you to not stay back here. It's like, okay, go now, go over this bridge, go to this new place, this new life for you. And here we see you doing exactly that. So, all right. So your life is expanding because what wasn't, well, because of what wasn't working for you forced you out of your comfort zone into something new. And we have the three of the three of swords, which is a now a heartbreak. So it's not a coincidence that I was pulling up this five of cups because something is breaking is painful for you. It's it's really painful for you. What is painful? What is it that's hurting so much, Leo? Why is your heart hurting? Gotta go to this new opportunity and for do your financial well being. Hanged man. Let's get some more information on that hanged man. Okay. I love this. I love this. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, I'm so excited. I'm about to bounce out of my chair and can I even convey this? All right. This is amazing. Okay. You're having to walk away from something. Okay. Because karmically it's ended. And you can see it absolutely clearly. You're not putting up with it anymore. Now it's time for your world to expand because you're going to pursue your passions. It is going to be in connection with some sort of love, but you do have to walk away from something and it hurts. Okay. It, there's something about this that is, that is painful and you're, you're doing it. You're, you're, you, you, you realize you got to go. This is you going. This is you taking a look, you know, just before you take that action. This is you standing in front of like a sea of gold. The ship's coming in. Brand new opportunity. Brand new opportunity. Okay, and in pursuit of your financial abundance, your your empire of wealth, okay, based on your skills, what you're good at, what you want, what your soul wants, okay, that's now this is where you have achieved this financial well being. Now, I wanted to know more about the hangman. So the hangman is willing to take a look at things from a different perspective. He's willing because it's an upside down four, and four means stability. He's willing to take a look at what things had seen been seemingly stable for him in his life and now look at it from a new perspective like i'm not going to just buy into again i love this be the same with the five of swords here i'm not going to just continue looking at the way that things the way that i have been looking at them the understanding life and believing life from the lens that i always have been and the way that people around me have done it okay i'm willing to now suspend that to come to a new place of enlightenment. And this enlightenment is always given through the hangman through a sense of passion, creativity. It, it's it's the, the bodily fluids moving from the sacral chakra to the crown chakra to give a, um, a sense of enlightenment, to receive that like download from spirit um, and be able to be driven mentally and, um, and perceptually driven towards something that you're 
enormously passionate about the same that, that you would be if you were, um, you know, absolutely in love with someone and you were pursuing that, um, that physical relationship. Okay. Uh, gently put. Okay. Um, so you moving that energy, okay. Into the, your full body, into your mind, into the rest of your heart, right? Because it's moving up through the sacral chakra into the solar plexus, into the heart chakra, throat chakra, you know, third eye and crown chakra where it's like, oh, I have this light and enlightenment now. That's what the hangman wants to do. So what's the hangman? So I'm like, okay, what is it? What What is the hangman getting? What is the information that the hangman is receiving as he's hung himself up and upside down and gotten this new, uh, you know, vision from spirit? And it is that, it is that, this is the lovers here. Remember I said there is a connection. There's like a business relationship or a, a pursuit of financial well-being, a financial empire within a relationship for you. And this is exactly that. This is absolute perfect alignment. This is wisdom. This is life force energy, vitality. This is um, this the, the tree of life where your financial abundance, the material abundance that you experience in your life. Um, building literally your empire, building your empire, right? Um, with your lover, with a lover, with a lover. And not just any lover, someone that you're friends with, someone that you literally enjoy being around. Because we can all say that we have had relationships where just because we're in the relationship doesn't mean we've always want to be around them. Doesn't mean that we're best friends with our lover. But this is what this reading is saying. And I knew that you were going to find yourself in this opportunity, but you're finding you're finding a sense of connection in this opportunity that you never expected, maybe did not expect to have. So you're walking away from, you're walking away from something that didn't work, some, something that did not work for you and it was painful, okay? And you pursued your own happiness, but you found that happiness in a connection with this lover right here. And the reason I about left out of my seat and absolute excitement for me because I was zoned in immediately when that card came up on the lovers, this connection, and then what was at the bottom of the deck? Soulmate. This relationship that you have is a soul-driven connection. It is a karmic connection, okay? Now, what wasn't working for you karmically moves out what is necessary for your... Now, here's the thing. I have to say this. The way that Venus op operates is she is she knows what your heart really wants. It's It's not a mistake. That Venus is, a, that she is also the air sign, the swords. Look at this, look at this, um, this justice. Look at Venus from this angle now, okay? She's looking at you knowing exactly what your heart desire is. And she will make sure that you have it. It just may not come the way that you want it to come. Now, so there was something that moved, something that wasn't working, and now it's everything that you want all of it has come forward for you in love and money and knowing yourself feeling completely you feeling connected to life feeling connected to your lover connected to your finances in a bigger way and pursuing what your soul desires with a soul with a soul partner and you two making a fortune together absolute fortune together i mean this is incredible this is your outcome for love and money for the next 30 days, Leo. And it doesn't surprise me because you guys are magnificent and you guys have been willing to take a look at what was necessary, do maybe the hard work to say goodbye to what wasn't and now claim an enormous, enormous reward for, for that work that you did or that decision that you made. And so um, tell me, how do your fortunes come in? What is it that you two are pursuing? I would love to hear from you. I, I want to hear what's going on of, um, with this with this relationship here and how that's working out for both of you. All right, Leo. Um, we're back over here. All right, Leo. So that was absolutely. I mean, shocking. But I, but not. I guess not really shocking. It's just exuber. I mean, it's exuberating. It. Um, I, I have an enormous amount of happiness coming through and. As you have walked through this process for the last couple of months, maybe it's been tight. Maybe it's been heavy. Maybe it's been like, I'm not exactly sure, you know, if this is the relationship that I, I need or want. 
the the job or the the you know this route with this opportunity you know there's been a lot of like decisions that have had to be made but i see here that you in fact have made those decisions and those decisions are rewarding you in enormous ways so i hope you absolutely enjoy all of the rewards and all of this all of the money that you that you're receiving all of the love and the connection that you're that you're experiencing um and passions um in the next 30 days so congratulations and what more can i say other than enjoy which is what you do best you are the the sign of pleasure and happiness and all things um all things that that feel good and um so so enjoy your season you are rocking it enjoy your season and i will see you in the next video